Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I've gotten so many requests lately to go live again because I was doing lives um, right before Christmas for like Advent. I was doing a live every day in December leading up to Christmas and a lot of people have been asking recently for me to go live again and I just had some spare time today. I just figured it was it was a good time. So here I am. I am alive. What's good? Uh, we have a Glam Bag X box from Ipsy to unbox today. So I figured that would be fun. We can do it live together. Um, I've never done the Glam Bag X before. So super fun, super exciting. And I felt like that's fun. That's special. A good time to just do it live with you guys instead. So yeah, I have like no makeup on. I'm just chilling, hanging out. Thought that this would be fun to do. So yeah, I hope a couple of people, I see we have like three people on right now. So hey guys, what's good? Hopefully a few people are able to see this and like come on in and hang out. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll wait to start doing the unboxing for like a minute and see if anybody can join us. Whoever wants to join us, maybe if they see it, that would be really cool. How are you guys doing? How was your day? My day is good. Uh, little like update, I guess. Yesterday I got my second vaccine shot. I got Moderna. So I got that yesterday at like two in the afternoon. Hey, Callie. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so I got my shot yesterday. This morning I felt like I got hit by a truck. So that was fun. Thankfully, I really didn't have a fever or anything. I just had like my whole body just felt sore. I just felt like very tired like I just had like the workout of a lifetime so that's super fun uh, and so I've been home all day today and just thought like a live would be the thing to do so yeah pretty fun pretty good stuff um anything else exciting happening with me not really uh, so, you know what? Let's get into this Glam Bag X unboxing. I think that this is uh, one of the Jenners or Kardashians, I think I saw, was like the creator for this box. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I've never done the Glam Bag X before with Ipsy. So, that's exciting and fun. I feel like, I think, I could be wrong, but I think they like pick a person to collab with and then like either a brand or a creator or an influencer or something and then they like pick stuff out so let's just open her up and see what we've got inside i'm like kind of excited about it okay the first thing we have is this like newspaper looking situation it says ipsy glam bag x okay yeah curated by chloe kardashian so that's fun are you guys really into the kardashians I like don't really know a whole lot about the Kardashians. I see like, um, I know she's a Jenner, but like Kylie, I see a lot and Kim, I see a lot, but like the rest of them don't even know their names. Don't even know who they are. Uh, okay, cool. So your invitation to glam. Welcome to my world. Love. I'm so excited to have you. Thanks. Stormy is my girl. Stormy is really cute. The few little clips I've seen of Stormy really cute. Um, so that's pretty fun. I think she's adorable. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look, this is so cute. It's got like all this different like information about different things. I have this palette. What's good? Let's see what we've got going on here. Um, my beauty motto. Do whatever makes you feel like your best self. So cool. Based on your beauty quiz for... Hmm... So I guess these are like all of her like top things that she likes. We've got like um, the one size visionary palette. We've got the Tower 28 um, lip jelly. We've got MAC Love Me Lipstick in Bated Breath. We've got the Renaissance palette from Anastasia, the Anastasia brow pen. We've got like a bunch of different things. This is actually really cute. See, this is the kind of thing that I wish that they would include in their regular bags. Not necessarily something this big, but like an actual little like price guide and just a little write up on each individual item. I feel like that is so helpful and so useful. And I really appreciate that they did something like that in this box. I think that's 
so cool. So yeah, we've got this one. Let's see. Oh, get the Chloe Glam Squad Experience. Uh, makeup artist Ash K. Holm uh, shares her steps for creating Chloe's signature snatural. Snatural. Now that is a word. Um, makeup and no, that's that wasn't a typo. That wasn't a typo. So they have like a little five-step um, tutorial on how they do her makeup, which is literally so cute. Uh, yeah, this is actually a really adorable little like pamphlet that they have made up. I really like that. And then here again, like a photo of all of the items together, which is so cute. So far, I like that. That's so fun. Okay, moving on. I guess we'll just start like grabbing things out of here. The first thing we have on top right here is the Charlotte uh, Tilbury, which is so exciting because I don't have anything Charlotte Tilbury. So it's a very exciting moment. Uh, what is this though? This is Charlotte's Magic Cream. Instant turnaround moisturizer. Okay, apply cream to face and neck using my Tilbury Tap facial technique. Uh, so cute. This is really interesting packaging. It like slides outward, like these are two separate pieces. What? Super interesting. Um, and then, oh, got some more people, hey, hey. Uh, we are opening up the Ipsy Glam Bag Xbox. I, this is my very first Glam Bag Xbox. I have ever opened. Um, this one is curated by Chloe Kardashian. So fun. Uh, they gave this like little newspaper thing. Super cute. Lots of information on it. And this is the first product that I'm opening. This is the Charlotte uh, Tilbury. What did I say it was called? Magic something. Magic moisture something. It's a weird box. Magic cream. Just magic cream. It seems like it's a moisturizer, which if you know me, um, uh what was i gonna say sorry checking my phone uh i'm not a huge like skincare person but i do have really dry skin so like a moisturizer could be cool this is and i really want to try charlotte tilbury products so i'm definitely gonna give it a shot this is such pretty packaging i feel like her packaging just like exudes like expensive okay let's you know what? I have no makeup on or anything. Let's like put some of this on. Why not? We're hanging, right? So good. Uh, okay. It's definitely like a very creamy feeling. And it smells like... It definitely has, has a scent. Like, I don't want to say like old people. But like, it definitely smells very mature. Um, it smells fresh and clean and mature and it feels nice i like that i could always use some good moisturization let's see if there's um any information about like the price or anything inside here i hope there is look at that charlotte's magic cream oh my gosh it retails for a hundred dollars that's a lot of money is that not a lot of money i feel like that's a lot um charlotte's i never skip step to prep her whoa Charlotte's never skip step to prep her client's skin? Question mark? Is that a question? I feel like that's a statement. Whatever. Her iconic magic cream. It helps reduce dullness and redness and flood skin with moisture. Thank you, hyaluronic acid. To plump fine lines, whatever you, whatever you apply on top will look picture perfect. That was a really roughly read like, paragraph. None of that really made like, there were periods where it was, like, not a full sentence. Like, I don't even know. Um, why she loves it. This makes me glow even on my no makeup days. So, Chloe loves it. Uh, hopefully I love it. I actually really do, like, wait, smell. It's almost like baby powdery. That's, like, the smell. It's, like, baby powder. You know, it's, like, fresh and clean. Kind of old people, but it's, like, not the worst. That's what it smells like. All right. Let's move on to the next one. I am a popular person today. Okay. Next thing we have here is the Kopari. Again, I don't really have the Kopari products. See, that's why I like these subscription boxes, is I get a lot of products that I don't have. I try a lot of new brands that I've never tried before, and I just think that's really fun. So this is the CBD Recovery Balm, Soothe and Recover. Uh, vegan, cruelty-free, phthalate-free. Is it like lip balm? 
uh, Calm, Cool, and Coconutty. This CBD-powered coconut balm melts into skin to target all the right spots for instant relief. Blended with peppermint essential oil for an extra hit of cooling hydration. Oh, directions. Here we go. Melt balm and rub into targeted areas anywhere on your bod. Oh, so it's not specifically for your lips. This is like a balm for anywhere. Interesting. Let's check her out. Wow, that is such a cute little bottle. <laughs> I love that. I don't know why that is like so pleasing to me. I love that. CBD products really interest me because I always feel like they're going to smell bad. And I don't know why I have that feeling, but anytime I see CBD on it, I'm like, is it going to smell like, like dirt? I don't know why I feel like that, but I just do. Okay. It's got like a nice little protective seal on it. So we know no one's used it. Oh my gosh. That is the ugliest baby poop puke color ever. Oh my God. It smells bad. Oh my God. Okay. Some people probably... That would never go on my face. Some people might, uh, uh, some people might like the way that that smells, but it's very like Vix smelling. It's that really. I'm turning my volume off. It's that really um like strong menthol kind of smell. That is not at all what I was expecting. Was it? Oh, it's like hard and oily. What? What? I should not have rubbed that on myself. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay. I don't know. I was kind of excited to try something new, but I don't know if I can get behind that. That's that's That might be too much for me. I don't know. I'm not digging that. I don't like Vicks. I don't like menthol. I don't like mint. I, I don't like that kind of stuff. I don't know. That's, that's... I like really like sweet, sugary smells. I don't like anything like... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I hate that. I actually hate that. Let's see. Kopari. Honestly, uh, even with this, you got to choose. Ipsy allows you to choose a couple of items. Um, and with this box, you also got to choose a couple, even though it was curated by Khloe Kardashian. And I'm. this is not in that. I think this is one of the items I chose. Um, but when it says recovery balm, I assumed this was a lip balm. Yeah, it's baby poop looking. Exactly, April. You're so right. It looks disgusting. Um, I thought this was going to be like lip balm for like super chap lips. It's not lip balm and it's gross. And I wish that's not what I chose, but I did. So anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, the next thing we have in here is the complex culture which I've gotten some complex culture things before from these subscription boxes and so far is so good this is the rose oh I, th I think did I pick this out I may have picked this out this is the rose quartz uh gua sha sculpting stone I really wanted to try a gua sha stone first of all this is a huge package with cardboard like just so much cardboard to fill this up and I think the stone's inside of here, but like, this feels like a waste. It's a stone. I mean, maybe it was a good idea. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Look at it in there. I mean, I guess that's a pretty protective way to, I don't know, that feels like a lot of wasted cardboard, but. This is the Rose Quartz Gua Sha Stone. So fun. If you guys don't know, I'm currently going to school. Um, to get my cosmetology's ed educator license. So I am going to school to be able to teach cosmetology, but that license also covers me to teach esthetician school and barbering. So there's an esthetician room and sometimes I'm in there and I do not have my esthetician license, but a cosmetology license covers everything. Um, but the estheticians are there strictly for skincare. So if you didn't know, it's like skincare, um, people who do facials, that kind of a thing. And they all like talk about these stones and like rave about them. And I'm like, hmm, could be fun. Maybe something I want to try. So I'm actually super excited to have it. Um, probably going to bring it to school and show everybody Isn't that cool. <laughs> I'm a cool teacher. <laughs> um, no, but it came with this really cute little thing. Hi, so glad you could join us. We're partying. Um, 
it came with this really cute little package to put it in. Uh, wow. We're opening the Ipsy Glam Bag X box right now. Uh, that is curated by Khloe Kardashian. I've never opened one of these before, so we're doing it live. I got a gua sha stone. I got this really disgusting Kopari um, CBD recovery balm that looks like baby poop and smells like men's ball. It's really gross. Um, and I got this Charlotte Tilbury magic cream. So super exciting. That's what we've done thus far. Now let's go into, uh, I don't think, I think the gua sha stone I chose. So I don't think it's going to be in this little synopsis thing. No, I don't think so. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Um, right here, we have this beautiful white box. This is Herbivore Prism AHA and BHA Exfoliating Glow Facial. Yeah, you know what? She picked out a lot of like facial products and skincare products, and that's just not my jam, honestly. But like, you know, it's okay. Um, for your brightest glow naturally. Cute, 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 cute. Very cute packaging. Oh my gosh, look at that. What? So pretty. Um, Herbivore Prism AHA and BHA Exfoliating Glow Facial Mask. Oh, I like masks. That's fun, right? I like masks. Let's see. A glowing facial mask that features a powerful blend of natural AHA, including lactic, glycolic, and malic acids, plus a concentration of natural BHA from a willow bark. These botanicals exfoliate dead skin cells and reveal smooth, bright, and glowing skin. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Let's see. Does she have like a little thing about this? What is this called? Okay, Urban Probably to keep her fillers intact. <laughs> funny. You're funny. Um, Herbivore Botanicals, Prism AHA and BHA Exfoliating Glow Facial. This retails for $58. That's a lot of money, but this is like really heavy. Like you could knock somebody out with this. This is like thick glass, okay? Um, yeah, $58. This at-home treatment is the answer to a pro facial level glow at home. Leave it on for 20 minutes and let the AHAs and BHAs work their smoothing, softening, and skin clearing magic. Why she loves it. After a long day of shooting and glam, this saves my skin from breakouts. So fun, okay, really cute. Uh, the packaging is cute. 20 minutes seems like a long time, but that's okay. We'll, we'll try it out. We'll try it out. Uh, and honestly, like, I have, like, I don't break out very often, but, like, I broke out right here. And it's because, I don't want to be, like, the bearer of bad news, but you know, you guys know me. I always say I don't like doing skincare. I never do skincare. I never put anything on my skin. Um, well, at beauty school, in the esthetician room, I let them put some stuff on my face. They were practicing, whatever. And I literally feel like I broke out from it because my skin's just not used to that because I never do it. If you don't like the product, you could always use it as a paperweight. Yeah, no kidding. This would this would hold some papers down, you know what I'm saying? This is like like really heavy, like weirdly heavy. Um <laughs> but we'll give it a try, we'll give it a try. I like masks because I feel like you're like a fun, special, like once in a blue moon kind of a thing. I just don't want to be committed to like this like 14 step skincare extravaganza every night like I can't um moving on we have this 111 skin which I feel like is a brand we see in these subscription boxes a lot this is the 111 skin rose gold radiance booster again more skincare woohoo so excited <laughs> am I such a negative Nancy I feel like I am Really cute little dropper package. Let's see what we have to say about. Oh wait, actually before we move on, let's smell this one. Cause it's all about the smell, right? So this herbivore prism exfoliator. Ooh, cheap thick. I don't know how you would describe that. It smells like something. But what is that something? I cannot put my finger on it. But it's very subtle, thankfully, so it's not a big deal. I had an allergic reaction to the Sunday Riley good jeans stuff, so I'm careful about skincare now. I feel that. I'm, like, I'm not, like, sensitive to, like, pain and stuff. I'm, I have a very high pain tolerance in that way. But when it comes to, like, skin things, I do feel like I have pretty sensitive skin. But honestly, I feel like my skin is sensitive because I don't use a whole lot of things on it. I do put makeup on, but if you guys knew, I literally don't wear makeup to, like, my job very often. Like, I really don't. Um, 
I'm not the kind of person that needs to wear makeup every day. I wear makeup when I'm going somewhere fun, when I'm doing something fun. When I film my videos for you guys, I put my makeup on and it's like 10 o'clock at night and then I wear it and then I take it off to go to bed. So I don't wear makeup for like long extended periods of time, honestly. And I don't do like skincare or anything crazy. So yeah. Okay. Anyway, moving on to this 111 skin situation. Oh, it says 111 skin rose gold radiance booster $135. What? This, this little thing is $135. This thing better be magical. Uh, this is Chloe's secret weapon for skin that looks lit from within. It contains rose water and niacinamide to brighten skin, hydrating hyaluronic acid to plump, and light reflecting gold to instantly illuminate your complexion. Why she loves it. This looks so fab on my bathroom counter and even better on my skin. I'm sorry, you're paying $135 because this tiny little two inch bottle looks fab on your counter? That's crazy i know i know remember who curated the box you're so right chloe kardashian hey i give it to you i wish i had enough money to buy a 135 dollar thing because it looked cute on my bathroom counter i don't even pay attention to my bathroom counter i don't have anything cute on my counter <laughs> that is crazy but okay and yeah let's see let's smell it because like i've been saying smell is important to me apparently i don't know Oh, it smells good. Again, that's a very familiar scent that I can't put my finger on, but it definitely has a much stronger scent than the Prism thing, and it's good. It smells good. Oh my gosh. Does it say what it is? No, of course not. Direction. Shake well before use. Mix one to two drops into the palm of your hands with your favorite moisturizer, moisturizer or apply directly to skin after cleansing. Oh, okay, cool, fun. I mean, I like a glowy situation because I'm dry. So like, maybe it'd be good for me, maybe. I don't know. Uh, moving on, let's pull out a new thing. We've got Tower 28. This is the coconut. Uh, is this like the lip jelly? Milky lip jelly? Is that what it's called? Yeah, milky lip jelly, which that is a bad sentence. Milky jelly? Oh, that sounds gross. That color is so pretty, though. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is like the first, like, makeup-esque item thus far, which is crazy, but okay. Um, Tower 28 Coconut. Shine on lip jelly. Cute. Let's put some on. I like that. I hate the name of it, but it's very like thin in texture and it feels very like oil oily. Is that a good thing? Like it feels very moisturizing on the lips. So I definitely do like the way that it feels. And it looks cute, not very colorful, but I could see like over a lipstick or something. I definitely like the color of it. So that's cute. That I can say I like. Let's see what she wrote about that one. Tower 28, uh, Shine On Milk Lip Jelly. That retails for $14, so the first like normally priced item thus far. Um, this vegan, cruelty-free, and derm-tested gloss is made with plant-based ingredients like apricot oil and raspberry seed oil. Yes, yeah, see oil, there's, it's very, you can feel that there's oil in this for sure. Um, to nourish dry lips and give them a glossy finish without feeling sticky. Yeah, it doesn't feel sticky at all. It feels like it glides, like it feels like a very thin oil. I do like that. She says why she loves it. This gloss lives in my purse for easy touch-ups over whatever lip I'm wearing. Yeah, I could see, like, it didn't give crazy color payoff, so I could see how it would work really well with other lipsticks. I definitely like the way it feels on my lips. If it's nourishing, you know, that's great because ain't nobody like a chap lip. So, fun. I like it. Cute. Thumbs up. Uh, next, we have the one-size eye popper 
um, in the shade Everything and More, which I have. So that's fun. Um, I'm not going to swatch it because I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with this because I don't know if I necessarily need two of these. And since we're doing a live, I'm not going to get up to get mine. But I will take it out of the package so you can see it. It is like, can you even see what's going on? Yeah, it is like a really pretty, like, pinky like a baby pink champagne kind of a color. And I really love, honestly, everything that I've tried that is one size, I love it, love, 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 love it. And I really like the eye poppers. I think that they go on really well and they have really good payoff, so super like these. And I wasn't able to try his like powder foundation situation that he like came out with, but let me tell you, I didn't get to try it. And thus far, I like every single thing that I've tried of one size beauty. I was at school and one of the teachers at the school that I'm at, um, I was like, wow, your skin looks so good. Like what makeup are you wearing? Like what, what are you wearing? It looks so good. And she told me that she was wearing the NARS foundation that I just tried the other day. And over top of it, the Jeff, the one size Patrick star powder. And I was like, oh my God, I can't. she looked so good. And I noticed, you know what I mean? Like and we're wearing masks and stuff. So like literally like her forehead looked great. And I was like, wow, you need some of what that was. And the fact that it was one size just made me think that brand is so good. And I really need to try it. So anyway, we've got that, which I don't think, did I pick that out? I think I may have picked that out, hoping that I was going to get a shade. Oh, no, maybe not. Let's see. Uh, one size. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. We have the information for the other things too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The Kopari uh, CBD Recovery Balm that is literally gross looking and smelling is $45. Rub the soothing CBD balm anywhere on your body from your neck to toes to help relieve tension and stress. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I think the gouache is on here somewhere too. Yeah, Complex Culture Rose Quartz Guasha is $28. Very excited about it. It feels really nice and it looks really pretty. Um, massage your face with this traditional Chinese tool to help minimize puffiness and relieve tension. Super cute. Okay. Um, and like we were saying, the one size eye popper, sparkle vision, liquid eyeshadow, and everything and more is 22 so maybe i didn't pick that out um it's 22 dollars. a one swipe wonder this long lasting liquid shadow mixes glitter and pigment for high impact shine which it absolutely does okay now we're moving on this is the final item final item that we have here this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen okay girl brow pen let's see um this is in the shade dark brown which is perfect because your girl has dark hair um brow pen $22 so this retails for $22 I don't have any of their brow pens I don't think I have a brow pen at all I have like some dip brows I have some brow powders I have brow pencils but I don't think I have a pen for the brows so that's fun um bold brows are Chloe's signature and this this pen makes it easy. The super fine tip helps create realistic looking brow hairs so you can add details, definition, and dimension to your arches. Cute. Okay, so it's just like one singular fine tip. I've seen the ones that are like multiples or whatever. This is just like one. Super cute. Let's give it a little swipe. Cute. I don't even know if you can see that. I mean, it's very like. Can you like build it up and make it like dark, dark, dark? Yeah, I mean, you can make it fairly dark. But I actually like that it comes off kind of softer because the pens make me nervous because I feel like it would probably be pretty easy to go like too much, you know what I mean? And like, I already have a lot of brow. I don't need that much more brow. This is like natural, natural. So yeah, okay. Fun. So that's everything that we got in the Ipsy Glam Bag X curated by Khloe Kardashian. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wish somebody else curated the box. I was very excited to try. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I was very excited to try the box and just like get a bigger box, more items. But I feel like it was like almost all skincare, which is like not my jam. 
And I don't know, I just feel like, I don't really know Khloe Kardashian that much, but I just feel like her interests and likes are probably extremely different than mine. Uh, just a thought. So I feel like I would have enjoyed it more if somebody else maybe had curated the box, but overall it was still fun. I still like doing all the unboxings. I was glad we could do it live with each other. So yeah, pretty fun. Pretty fun. Is anybody doing anything fun this weekend? Any plans? I'm doing something fun this weekend. Um, in case you guys didn't know, I'm a hairdresser. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I like work in a regular salon, you know, cut, color, the whole shebang. Um, I quit my job. So tomorrow is my very last day, uh, which is crazy to even like think about. I've been there for like a little over five years. So it's bittersweet, um, but I'm moving on to the next chapter in life. I am going to be doing, like, following my original passion, what I first went to school for. Um, I originally really wanted to do weddings. I wanted to travel and do, like, updos for weddings. So I'm going to follow that passion and go ahead and do some, like, weddings. So if you live in New Jersey and you're getting married or you know somebody who is and they need somebody to... Um, come and do the hair. Let me know. Uh, my new Instagram, I just made it, so there's like barely anything on it yet uh, because, you know, this is, we're just starting up. It's uh, styling memories on Instagram. So if you want to go check it out, check it out. I'm still on lockdown basically from having both feet operated on. Oh, my next post op is Monday. Oh my gosh, good luck. I hope that goes well for you. That's gotta be so frustrating. That's gotta be so frustrating. I'm in New York, do you travel, LOL? Why are you getting married? Oh. Um, <laughs> I, depending on where you are in New York, depending on where you are in New York, yeah. Uh, my email, if you guys wanna like email me uh, about any inquiry, if you're like serious and have an inquiry, um, it's Kimberly at stylingmemories.com. So Kimberly with two E's, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-E-E -E -E, at stylingmemories. Dot com. So check me out. Um, so yeah, New York is not that far. Uh, currently, I was planning on uh, near Albany. Okay. Yeah. I mean, email me if you have if you are if you seriously have something coming up. Email me. Um, I was planning on like starting with New Jersey and then seeing how that goes. But I mean, we'll see if someone if 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 you really have something and I can do it, then I'd love to service as many people as I can. So. Check me out, check me out. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I've got going on in my life. I don't know if you guys remember, but in a video towards the beginning of the year, we were talking about, um, what's it called? We were talking about uh, New Year's resolutions. Oh, happy anniversary, that's so exciting. Congratulations, that's so exciting. Um, yeah, we were talking about New Year's resolutions and I was saying how I want to just have a completely different life. <laughs> like I basically said, I just want my life to be very different by the end of the year than it was in the beginning of the year. And I feel like I am very much so accomplishing that. Um, I got a puppy. I quit my job. I'm going to school to get a teaching license. Um, I'm following my, my heart and doing some things that I've always wanted to do. So yeah, just like let me no, I hope you guys are doing well on your um, resolutions too. I know that like a lot of people um, will set their resolution and then do it in the beginning of the year and then just kind of like let it fall out and then never like catch back up with it. But this is my reminder. What did you set out to do in the beginning of the year? Do you um, feel like you've accomplished it? Do you feel like you've totally forgotten about it? And it doesn't need to be a new year to set forth on a goal for yourself. So if you feel like you've lost it, you don't need to wait till next January to pick it back up figure it out. You can do it. Where's the puppy who is uh, not so little anymore? Um, she is currently out in the living room. I just heard her bark at probably somebody who walked by. Uh, <laughs> no, she's not very little anymore. She's like 40 something pounds. Uh, we thought she was going to be bigger than that. We thought she's going to get to be like 60 something, but she's eight months old and she's 40 pounds. And honestly, her paws look like they fit her. So I don't think she's going to be getting quite as big as I thought she was. Also, I did a DNA test on her. So fun. Um, she, it, well, let me, I, I can pull it up. I can pull it up. So you guys exactly what she is. Super like fun little thing. If you have a dog, 
that, especially like a rescue and you don't know what they are, I highly recommend it. I used, um, shoot, what was it called? Wisdom panel? Is that what it's called? Wisdom panel, I think. Um, and I was very happy with the results. I thought it was super fun. I was really excited to get it back. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, wisdom panel. She is 34% American Staffordshire Terrier, so pit bull, which is what I thought she was, a pit bull. Um, she's 34% pit, 26% bulldog. So cute. Um, and then she's 11% border collie and 8% Australian cattle dog. She's 6% Russell Terrier, 5% Chihuahua, which is literally so funny. And I think that that's kind of like part of what's keeping her smaller. Um, so super cute. 4% Mexican Street Dog, 2% Parson Russell Terrier, 2% Rat Terrier, 1% Abesian Hound, and 1% Catahoula Leopard Dog. So cute. I really want to get one for my older dog, Ashley, um, just because I've had her for almost four years and like, I don't know, I kind of thought it was like, why do it? But after doing it for the puppy, it's so fun. And honestly, I feel like Ashley, my older dog, if you've seen her, she like popped up in some of those lives that I did in December, is so pretty. And um, she's like fluffy. And I think I know what she is. And I always tell people what I think she is. But it would be nice to actually know because I, I love her so much. She's so cute. Um, I have a mini and a standard chihuahua. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. So you must like little dogs then, huh? Ashley is adorable. Right, thank you. Yeah, she is so cute. She's so calm and mellow. And I just like, I don't know if like her breed has something to do with the fact that she's like calm and chill. Uh, but it also might just be her age. But I would love to know what she was. We have a 15 week old Yorkie. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That is so cute. Yorkies are adorable. In high school, one of my friends, one of my good friends had um, two Yorkies and they were so cute. Yeah, I love, I love dogs. I would get a third dog if I could, but um, it's a lot of work. Honestly, two is a lot of work. It's not like, once you have one, doubling it is not like doubling the work. Getting a second one is like tripling the work, especially if it's a puppy. Uh, so it was, it's a lot. And honestly, like my 15 year old dog, Ashley was like, so good. I mean, she still is good, but she was so like low maintenance, like, extremely low maintenance. But once I got the puppy and she was like jealous of how much I was taking the puppy out to go potty and like all that kind of stuff. So now she is like higher maintenance than she was before. So, you know, I would love to have the uh, palms like Jeffree Star. Oh yeah. You know, what's so funny. Um, Pomeranians, like, I guess, grow like, before I was born, my dad's favorite dog was a Pomeranian, which is so funny to me, because I feel like Pomeranians, I don't know, like, if you, if you knew my father, I don't feel like Pomeranians fit his personality, um, and he always wanted a Pomeranian, always wanted a Pomeranian, and so my mom bought him a Pomeranian, like, again, before I was born, and my dad, like, named it after himself, <laughs> which is so funny. He gave it his own middle name, which is, like, so funny. And he said they had that Pomeranian for not even that long. And the Pomeranian caused so many issues that they had to find the Pomeranian new home, which is, like, so sad. And he was like, yeah, I, I loved and wanted a Pomeranian so bad. I wanted one so bad. And then once I got one, I was like, mm, no bueno, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but also kind of sad. But yeah I, have you ever seen like the pomskis the pomeranian huskies what a cute combination my boyfriend's um liam's liam's neighbor his old neighbor used to have a pomsky and it was like the most beautiful softest dog in the world it was like touching a cloud and i love huskies personally and so does liam and it had like the markings of a husky but it was just like little and it was like the texture of a pomeranian if that makes any sense my favorite breed has always been a Cocker Spaniel. My daughter was born. Oh, so cute. Yeah, my mom had a Cockapoo, a Cocker Spaniel Poodle mix. Um, again, before I was born, but that dog was still around once I was born. And she loved that dog so much. Super cute dog. So, yeah. Okay, someone just rang my doorbell. I don't know who that is. So I guess that is time to end the stream. So thank you guys for joining me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.